Hi there, um, I'm here today to talk about blood cultures. We use blood cultures in this trust if we're looking for bacteria in the blood. We can do them as part of a septic screen, so if somebody comes in um, to a &E with a query sepsis. Um, for patients that maybe aren't improving on antibiotics, still spiking temperatures, then we might be missing something uh, in the blood itself, so we might repeat some blood cultures. They can be a part of an order set, so we might do some cultures followed by normal bloods. If we're going to do that, it's important to remember that blood cultures, when we do them, are aseptic non-touch technique, which we've spoken about before. And if we're taking U's and E's and FBC, they are just kept in the ward in boxes, so they're not sterile. So if we did that first and then attached our culture bottles, it would mess up our results there. So that's important to remember. Okay, so they come in a pack like this on the ward. Um, nine times out of ten, the pack is intact, but sometimes people take out wipes and butterfly needles and things like that and just don't replace them. Um, it comes in two parts like this. So in one bag, we have an aerobic and an anaerobic bottle. Now some people think we use green bottle first, aerobic, go, um, green for go, but actually different brands have different colours. So what I would do is I would look on the bottle and find out where it says aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic is first, and I remember that because there, there will be air in the line, and that's the first bottle that you attach. That's how I do it. Got culture medium inside as well, and that's also a reason that we use the butterfly. If we were to attach it to a needle and holder, there is risk that that culture medium could go back into the cap. Inside that bag as well, we have a 2% wipe, which we've looked at before. And also we have a fancy sponge called a claw prep sponge. Um, some trusts have them and still use them, some areas, some wards still use them, but we just have them in our culture packs. It's important to remember that if you're going to put a cannula in, you know you're going to take bloods for cultures after that to use a claw prep wipe. And then we keep that bag there. And we use this wipe to clean the top of the bottles. In the second bag, nobody knows what to do with that second bag, let's put that in the room, let's keep the first one. We have our butterfly needle um, and our key part on there, part of our ANTT, will be the connector. And we also have our barrel that we use to attach our bottles and on there, our key part is that bit there. So we're going to put that all together we're going to go and do some cultures on our patient. It's really important to prepare everything by the patient's bedside, I think. Once you've cleaned the top of the bottles and then you're walking over to the patient, you might they might fall over in the um, tray and the tray isn't sterile, it will just be clean, you'd have to start the whole process again. So put together your key parts and the cleaning of the bottles by the patient's bedside. It's really important to wash your hands first. Put an apron on as well. Get your tray and give it a very good clean, working your way inside and out. Take your sharp spin with you as well. So take me some gauze, a tourniquet, some tape, and everything I need in the pack. So when I go to my patient, it's really important to remember to identify our patient in the correct way, gain their consent, check their wristband, all those usual things that we've learned in phlebotomy. It's always a lot of mess, a lot of rubbish left over. So what I might do first is click together my butterfly and my barrel. So I'll open that up. Remember not to touch that key part, the connector. Open up my barrel. Take 
take that and take the outside of my barrel and connect the two bits there. And I'll put that back in to my pack there and put it in my tray. My bottles take off the ends. These ones we've remade, so they're a bit tougher, but they won't be that hard on the ward. Take out my wipe. And this is why it's good to do this here because they would just they wouldn't stand up if you were going to go for a wander around the wards. So give the top a really good clean of each bottle for about 30 seconds. And then when you clean the second bottle, really important to remember, just use a bit different area of the wipe. If they get contaminated, you just have to start again. Once I've got everything ready, I'll open that is on the tray. Put our tourniquet on. And then put our gloves on. I'll also open up my gauze as well. Okay. So our floor prep wine, it's like a little glass cinder in the middle of that. And to activate that, just to squeeze it, you can hear that? And give the vein a really, really good clean. Slowly, in two different directions for at least 30 seconds. Once you've done that, allow it to dry. And just always bear in mind how long your tourniquet has been on for as well. and get your butterfly ready. And so what I mean by it hangs down so that we can attach our bottles safely. So get your butterfly needle and hold it to one side. Okay, and insert your needle. It's a bit of pressure there. Okay. Want your aerobic first. Bring the bottle down. I'm going to fill it up for about 10 mils. Now, it's quite hard to see when you're filling it up, so I count to 10 in my head. And the second one, be very careful not to touch the top of that. Bring it down. really important that you fill them nicely for about 10 seconds and disconnect. Now if you wanted to take some further bottles like using these or whatever you need, you then can disconnect your barrel. Bear in mind in the middle of that is the sharp, so it has to go straight into the sharp spin. If cultures are all you need, you can remove your tourniquet, get your gauze, Activate your safety device and straight into the sharp spin. When you're done, it's really, really important to label the cultures at the patient's bedside um, by signing the form. And also there is little labels at the side here that you peel off and you stick those on that bit of paper as well. They can go straight down to the lab. If it's out of hours, there is a almost like an incubator at the pathology entrance door and they go in there. Thank you very much.